Fresh talk to him. This is Spec Weekly. I'm Cutcraft, delivering your dose of Iota Hopium. Join me as we take a look at what happened last week. Read the disclaimer, baby. Let's go. No, friends, I haven't gone anywhere. In fact, I've been working to solidify my presence in the IOTA ecosystem by grinding away on my NFT project, the new elites. Now I've been getting some crazy anxiety about making this update episode about the IOTA ecosystem. And if you've been paying attention, you would have noticed that most of everything is EVM related. I've been anxious because there has been so much integration happening that I knew covering everything would be insanely difficult. So I'll break it up into a couple of episodes and try to release them quickly. All right, with that having been said, we'll fly through everything that has happened over the last few months with a particular focus once again on the IOTA EVM, where the first wave of integrations was predominantly infrastructure related. Kicking off with a perfect audit score for the IOTA EVM. Our funds are safe. Zokio is a leading crypto security firm. Their audit found no critical, no high, no medium, or no low issues. Zokio did find 11 informational issues, but all things considered, the IOTA EVM scored a perfect 100 points. With a perfect audit score under our belt, the IOTA EVM was launched to mainnet. The approach has been to begin with a soft launch. This means the production environment is online and fully functional to give a chance for projects to launch and optimize their products on the IOTA EVM so that they are ready to make their official launch in time for the real EVM push, supported by the IOTA Foundation, where there will be a campaign that aims to attract users and activity to the IOTA EVM. Look out for this campaign a little later in the year. But what's interesting is the headline they used in this announcement, as it gives us an idea of IOTA EVM's likely position in the market. That being the intersection of DeFi and real world assets. So let's monitor what's happening on the IOTA EVM in the coming months. I'm optimistic we'll see some cool stuff hit the chain. The first major announcement is with Layer Zero integrating the IOTA EVM. It's a significant development because it opens the IOTA ecosystem to growth opportunities. And that's because Layer Zero's infrastructure is all about cross-chain connectivity. Specifically because the Layer Zero protocol enables cross-chain messaging and asset transfers with OFT and ONFT standards. Building on from the Layer Zero integration is the Stargate V2 bridge. Stargate is built on Layer Zero, but differs in that it's an optimized protocol for moving tokens between chains. Stargate is the cheapest and fastest bridge in crypto. Now, I'm not sure how much our community has considered or given credit to the ecosystem growth team, but I want you guys to know that the IOTA EVM is the first chain that the Layer Zero organization decided to expand to after the Stargate V2 launch. They already had chain integrations for Stargate V1, but we were the first to get integrated with the V2 upgrade. This indicates to me a strong networking presence with powerful crypto groups that oversee the movement of liquidity. So I tip my fedora to the team that got this integration deal done because it's huge. Being able to ingest stable coins onto IOTA is critical for DeFi to flourish in our ecosystem. Continuing on the DeFi infrastructure side of things, Pith have launched price oracles on the IOTA EVM. 
DeFi platforms need a consistent, accurate, and secure source of asset prices from across different chains. In the past, there have been middleman exploits where hackers have manipulated how a price oracle determines the price of an asset. And in the process, they have scammed millions upon millions from regular brothers and sisters just trying to make a buck. Pith offer over 450 price feeds across 50 blockchains, synced and secure, to provide a reliable feed for any DeFi dApps that plug in. Adding to the Oracle framework, we also see Supra Oracles launching on the IOTA EVM. Another large Oracle platform, Supra will add to the options of Oracles available to developers who are looking to deploy on the IOTA EVM. Oracles are a major step that gets our IOTA EVM the infrastructure it needs in order to be a valuable player in the market. With Supra and Pith, we are in a very solid position. Rabi Wallet integrates the IOTA EVM. It's very cool to see IOTA integrate into an established wallet from outside the IOTA ecosystem. Obviously, I will almost exclusively support the Bloom wallet, but it's important to see IOTA in the mix of wallets that already have external users. It opens up marketing opportunities where people can use their wallets to engage with IOTA campaigns without having to set up an IOTA EVM integration from scratch. And some wallets have specific focuses. For example, our boy Yele is building in Pierce and developing decentralized ID. It only makes sense that a wallet that focuses on personal identity and related records will have a different set of requirements than let's say a wallet that focuses on DeFi. And that's what Rabi is. It's a DeFi wallet built by DBank, a multi-chain DeFi analysis platform. And that's a pretty cool stuff. Big platforms are welcoming IOTA to the game. Before I continue, I just wanna say this new ugly blue IOTA color is starting to grow on me. Uh, when it's on a black background, but I still think it's ugly as fuck on white. I don't know, it gives me a headache, but not so bad on black, I've got to be honest. Blast API integrates IOTA EVM to offer reliable endpoints. An endpoint is a gateway for users to access the blockchain, interact with the chain, execute functions and extract information. Having an endpoint service provider like Blast is important because it means that developers don't have to invest their time into manually setting up and obsessing over their own endpoints. Blast is well established with thousands of endpoints across all the most important chains. Gold Sky Subgraphs and Indexes integrates IOTA EVM. Man, I should just call this episode the the nerd shit episode because i'm reading a whole bunch of words that i'm seeing for the first time so chat gpt helped me figure out that a subgraph is a structured way to extract store and query data from a blockchain it compartmentalizes data so that builders can efficiently utilize the on-chain data that their apps need they can also replicate the data from on-chain and put it somewhere else maybe feed it into their own infrastructure and optimize it for quicker throughput on their own platforms. I'm thinking this integration is great for data-driven use cases, probably more on the side of things that need to capture and translate large amounts of data that are recorded on chain for its immutability. I'm thinking supply chain, for example. And that's my interpretation of your nerd speak. It's just too many fucking nerds, bruh. All right, good. That's a basic overview of the infrastructure we have live today with the IOTA EVM. Like I said, it's just a quick and dirty overview because getting into detail on each integration would require more research, which means I wouldn't be able to put out an episode for months. 
but these are the tools we need in our ecosystem to make the lives of our builders easier. New builders will have access to a bunch of platforms that guarantee what they build will run smoothly. Well, I guess as smooth as their smart contracts allow it to. In the next couple of episodes, I'll highlight what the grant committee has been funding so far. I just read that there is a huge backlog, so they are without a doubt really busy trying to determine what projects are the best fit for our ecosystem. And I think that's a good sign. Um, I've been saying for a while now that our issue isn't so much about the technological infrastructure. It seems like we're pretty good on that front. I've used the Shimmer and IOTA EVMs and they are super fast and painless and cheap. I've never failed a transaction. I think the battle we fight now is in terms of onboarding projects with the potential to grow our community and inspiring our existing community to deploy their tokens to the EVM and start putting them to use. You know, and I'm one to talk. I still haven't moved my bags, but I'm sure that soon enough, there will be a reason to. If the IOTA EVM takes off, it will be one of the reasons for our ecosystem to succeed, in spite of the token taking a, taking a crab walk. It's just a little crab right now. But all these infrastructure tools are giving me confidence. And look, if the price has got you feeling down, all you have to do is remember, $4 EOY. See you next time.